Hi, this is Michael, and this is my review of the Raptor 3.5 channel gyro helicopter. This is a pretty good size uh, helicopter. It's about 18 inches long, and it stands about 8 inches tall. It has a lithium polymer battery built into it, and then these two uh, plug connectors here need to be connected together in order to provide power to the helicopter. You always disconnect these when you're not flying, otherwise you could deep discharge the battery and damage it. Uh, it also comes with an AC power adapter, and this is 100 to 240 volts, 50 or 60 hertz, so this can be used internationally. And you plug this into AC, and then you plug this into this connector here in order to charge the battery in the helicopter. You get an extra A blade and an extra B blade, and you also get an extra tail rotor. So for those inevitable crashes, uh, if you do crack a blade, they do give you one of each. And uh, if you continue crashing your helicopter, <coughs> you'll probably need to get some other blades. Now this is the control unit. Uh, the antenna actually has to be screwed in. It's included in the same package that the extra blades are simply screw it into the top <clears throat> and then this does take six AA batteries which are not provided and uh, I'd recommend you get something like Enna Loops, which are rechargeable nickel metal hydride batteries therefore that will reduce your uh, expense of, re of uh, replacing batteries. Now there's um, a couple of buttons on here some of these are dummy buttons but uh, this button one of these buttons, I'm not sure which one, I forget, uh, turns on, uh, well, let me plug this in. One of these buttons turns on and off the uh, LED light on the helicopter itself. And then the other, uh, uh, the other one is for adjusting the speed. There's an on-off switch at the bottom, and uh, when I turn it on, you see the LED is on at the front. And pushing one of these buttons, oh yeah, pushing one of these buttons... There we go. Pushing uh, the right button here turns off the LED and pushing the left button adjusts the speed of the helicopter. So I'm not going to fly this in the house. I'll take it outside and let's uh, see how she flies. I'll try a little test flight here outside, although it is a very uh, little bit of a breeze today, so I'm not sure we're going to have much success because it does not like a breeze. But we'll see what I can do here. Yeah, it's it's really difficult to control this because of the breeze. Flight time on this is not great. Uh, it's pretty large and heavy and uh, I think you're only going to get probably a maximum of about 10 minutes of flying time, if that, and then you've got to recharge it. Yeah, I, can, I can't get anywhere with this with the breeze we have here today. I can fly in circles, that's about it. But if you have any questions, leave me a comment. I'll answer it if I can. Otherwise, thanks for watching and have a great day.